Welcome to Microsoft Dynamics NAV Toffee Mug Tutorials. I'm Johannes Goodnesson, founder of Enecta, a Microsoft Gold certified partner. Using a coffee mug as an example, I'll show you how to create items, purchase orders, sales orders, manage inventory, and much more. So go ahead and grab your own cup of joe and let's get started. Hello and welcome to the Coffee Mug Tutorials. Uh, what I wanted to demonstrate today is how NAV can be used with different clients. Um, we, uh, not, not clients as in customers, but clients as in programs to access the, uh, the system. Um, right now I'm looking at the standard uh, desktop client, uh, which I've been using throughout the demos. And this is my home screen, uh, where I see my uh, sales order, sales quotes uh, that are open, and orders that are pending approval, etc. And I got my ribbon here, and and I can browse around, uh, going into items, see my item list, uh, look for my standard coffee mug, for example, uh, which is right here. Go and edit, uh, change the way that works, etc. Now. If I am, for example, not uh, close to my computer, but I might be using a community computer, I could remote desktop into the uh, client, if that's allowed in my company, uh, and then I have to specify the remote desktop address, etc. and I get a bar up here, and I can get into my desktop client. Now, sometimes that might be difficult because uh, when you're on the road, uh, some some links might not allow you to use remote desktop. So what we could use is the uh, web client, which works in a browser, and I'll show you how that works. Now here I have a browser, and we've set up a special URL for our program, which is called um, Making Nav Better. And if I put in here, uh, making now better, Dynamics NAV9, I access my web client. And since I already had signed in, I'm signing in, it remembers my signing, and I'm signed in as demo. Now you can see that this is my home screen again. Here I have the sales orders open, uh, sales quotes open, orders for approval, etc etc I can go into my items and look for a particular item up here and see standard coffee mug uh, just click on here hit edit and then I can change anything so I have access to everything as I have access in the desktop client through this browser address, um, as long as the uh, company has enabled that the browser can be used in an AV. So that is really, really handy. Now let's say, for example, that I'm not using a computer, um, uh, a desktop computer that I'm going through a browser on, I would actually like to use a tablet. Now I can't show you how a tablet would look like here because um, I would have to go to a particular tablet. But what I can do is emulate that in this uh, web client. So all I have to do is go over here and change the end to tablet ASPX. Now nav, when I do that, nav will run a tablet version of the web client. And you can see that it's tailored specifically for tablets. Now my quotes and orders are on this side. Uh, and these are tiles, so I can press them with my finger. Uh, I also have this, uh, these three dots and three lines, which are indi indi indicative of uh, tablet uh, scenarios. And for example, if I wanted to go ahead and click on this, I would see all my new documents. And I can click on this, and I would see everything that I have on the left-hand side in the desktop. 
I can go into my items as I did before. Now I have a list of items. Now it tries to maximize the space, as you can see, for the tablet. Um, so, but at the same time, we're using the same columns as you have in the desktop. Um, and if I change anything in the desktop to show different columns, I would then see that over here without doing any other work. Um, I can start looking. Standard. There's my standard coffee mug. Again, I go into edit and then I get my coffee mug to change. So that's the tablet version if we're running tablet. Now on top of that we can also run a phone version. Now we have less real estate in the phone, like space real estate. So I can go oh, phone ASPX. So this is how the phone version works. Now you, you can see this gets shrunk down into like a little phone um, view. Again, I have my quotes, orders, etc. over here. Uh, I got my list. I can go into my items. And now the phone displays the items like this, maximizing the use of space. I can look up here. Hit that standard. There's my standard coffee mug. I can click on it comes up like this and then I can make changes and save. So that's how it works on the phone. So in essence what we have done is demonstrated how you can actually access NAV on a desktop. You can access NAV from a browser, uh, also on the tablet and on the phone. And I hope that was useful for you guys.